The Game Boy Color played a huge part in my childhood, whether it was a long car ride or a sick day in bed. Very few things can fill me with such nostalgic joy, like grabbing my Game Boy Color, flipping the switch, and hearing... Ah, yes! I'm smiling so much right now. Pokemon Gold and Silver, The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and Seasons, Wario Land, Game USA Color, no repeat, 22-in-1, UC-22W01. Oh, no, I don't remember that one. Ah, we're having another bootleg adventure, aren't we? Yup! Oh, for the love of... So just like many of these bootlegs we've looked at, the Game USA Color 22-in-1 cartridge comes from... I don't know! These things probably just literally fall from the sky. Or China, let's just blame China. So, 22-in-1, huh? I guess that's not the worst thing ever. I've experienced worse. It's also pretty nice considering a lot of these games are just regular old Game Boy games. Like Battle City, a simple game. Some may even use the word quaint. That's a word, right? Yeah, Google said so. So in this game, we take control of tanks and shoot other tanks. Yeah, okay, simple enough. It isn't rocket surgery or brain science. Cool ball. Oh yeah? I beg to differ. You bounce on these trampolines and collect keys. It's what the cool kids are doing. Now we have Heian Kyo Alien. I, I hate video games sometimes. So you see this little guy right here? That's us! The human, I would assume. Trying to fend ourselves off from the Heian Kyo Aliens. They sure are a spooky bunch! So you walk around this empty board and inflate some balls as your defense. It feels very similar to Dig Dug. Just worse. It's not about winning, it's about having fun! And I did neither of those things. Siri? What is a Heian Kyo? Here's some information. Oh. Well, you learn something every day, don't you? Hmm... Something about these games just doesn't feel right. Is it the fact that this Game Boy COLOR bootleg cartridge lacks dirt, you know, COLOR? This doesn't look very colorful. Or maybe it does, and I'm just colorblind. Despite being a 22-in-1 Game Boy COLOR cartridge, there's only one game that has color. The rest of the games have that monochrome, black and white, boring, stupid look. I'm just kidding, it was actually revolutionary. Here's Super Mario... 4. That's not a thing! Just look at Mario's stupid face! He's like, oh yeah, totally, this is definitely Super Mario 4. Who do you think you're fooling? I don't... think? I don't... I don't know what to believe anymore! So on the surface, this game looks and feels like Mario. You side-scroll, you platform, and you jump on Goombas. But you can also... throw a Pokeball at creatures. Uh, but instead of catching them and making a new friend for life... You murder them! Good job, Mario, you jerk! However, there is this Yoshi item that if you collect it, you transform into Yoshi. Good! The second stage takes place in a factory, with the boss being some kind of weird bullet bill human hybrid. I like it. So it's at this point I started having some questions about the game. And it turns out that Super Mario 4 is actually just a hack of Crayon Shinchan 4, which was only released in Japan. Crayon Shinchan is a really cute, albeit sometimes creepy anime, which now makes sense as to why the enemies are so adorable. Whatever, it's a Game Boy Color game, it can be beaten in like 20 minutes. The final boss is Donkey Kong. You poor soul. But we did it! We beat the game! Good job, Mari! Couldn't that wait? This next game is labeled as Pokemon Green. Oh hey, I've heard of that! Yeah, in America, we had Pokemon Red and Blue, but in Japan, they had Pokemon Red and Green. Because Nintendo thought, eh, it doesn't matter, they'll buy it all! They'll buy everything! And they were right. Uh-huh, yay! I'm feeling so nostalgic already. Hi, Professor Oak! I'm ready to begin my journey. All boys leave home someday. I love you, mother. Oh, hey again, Professor. That's right, it's time for me to choose my starter. 
Hmm, I think I'll go with Chad. Let's go again. Uh, is my game okay? I was deceived. Well, hey, at least Gary got a squirr. So this game is pretty much just Pokemon Green with the occasional weird text, such as when I beat Gary. Gary lost it. Good. I hope he goes insane and never talks to me again. Oh no, a wild pit appeared. You get the idea. Nothing too wacky or weird. Gosh, I can't imagine a Pokemon game with weirder text than this. Anyway, next we have Super Mario World 7. Now, I'm no numbers expert, my D- minus all throughout high school and math will prove that, but I don't think there have been that many Super Mario Worlds. Item select. Well, you sure give me a lot of options. So in this game, we run through an island throwing infinite hatchets at anything, literally anything. These spiders? Definitely. This boulder? Yeah, sure, why not? This game is just a hack of Adventure Island. But wait, I feel like I've already played a Mario-inspired Adventure Island game. Yeah, there was. This bootleg was apparently so good that someone in probably China or Russia, thought, man, this really needed to be ported to the Game Boy. So yeah, the game is technically fine because it's a game based off of another game that was based off of another game. And there's dinosaurs, so sure, yeah, it's a Super Mario World sequel. Daedalian Opus. It's smaller Tetris. This next game is labeled as Asteroids, like that classic arcade game. Okay, that works. It's a Star Wars game. Once again, I was deceived! There are technically asteroids in space, so I guess it's not a complete lie. Although, it's kind of like if I renamed Sonic the Hedgehog Tall Sunflower, because one shows up every now and then. Anyway, it's a Star Wars game. Luke runs around causing mayhem with his blaster. Remember how I said the Game Boy Color was one of my childhood favorites that I hold so much nostalgic value over? This cartridge is starting to make me despise it. So, since I don't want to completely hate the Game Boy Color by the end of this, let's look at one final game. Pocket Monsters Crystal Version. It's the only game in here that's actually in color, so maybe there'll be some quality to it. Also, after doing some research, this game seems to have an alternate title. Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal. Oh boy! Go to the Elf's World! Hey, Professor Oak, are you okay? This doesn't sound like something you'd say. Everyone call me Elf Monster. Oh, I apologize. Elf Monster, are you okay? This doesn't sound like something you'd say. Also, excuse me, what? Elves here are called monsters. I thought they were called elves. They existed everywhere. Okay, so in this game, there are no Pokemon. Only elves. Dr. Wu found you and want you to do something. Well, I personally don't give two crip a crap what Dr. Wu wants. I am the leader of my own destiny. Also, who is Dr. Wu? Yes, remember it. The repaired elf. All right, mom, I'm gonna leave now and probably put you in a home. All right, now let's break into somebody else's house and see what they have to say. A adept arranging for mother volcano bake meat. I mean, should I be worried right now? Should I protect Mother from Volcano Bake Meat? Is anybody in this game going to say something that makes sense? I feel so alone and afraid. Please, ma'am, help me. Pika Q is a evolved elf. Wusiji Doctor published so. I feel very shaked. He is a famous fine elf expert. You know what? You, you go and follow your dreams, because we actually have a lot in common. I too am shaked. I think you all get the gist of this game. From a technical standpoint, the game is just Pokemon Crystal. But what makes the game unique is the brand new story. The story of, now I'm making a new research into Elf. Wish you to cooperate. My heart is so moved right now. All right, I'll just pick Chikorita, whatever. Or Kig Leader. You like? No, but I'll take it. Oh man, everyone's stopping me. I'm just trying to leave. Death receive. Oh. Death, drug. I can put it in the bag or... Okay, I think this is where I need to call it quits. Overall, the Game Boy Color 22-in-1 cartridge 
Well, it uh, sucks, obviously. I mean, that's to be expected with any of these multi-carts. They load it up with a few good games, like Dr. Mario and Mario and Yoshi, but when these kind of games show up, it just kind of ruins my day. It's like I'm sitting down enjoying an ice cream, and then someone comes up and slaps me in the face with an old fish. Like, why would you do that? Okay, well, at least let's try to end this on an okay note. This game is called Bomb Jack. The derpiest looking hero out there. And he looks even derpier on the box art. I like it. So the whole concept of Bomb Jack is that we have to jack bombs, collect them before they explode and don't get hit by the enemies. It's a really solid game, especially for 1984. Bomb Jack was originally an arcade game, which explains its quality. That's all I got. I never said it was gonna be mind-blowing or anything, just a better note to end on, as opposed to the elf gear, skiskwi, and will not be an indempt coach. Although, now we are ending it on that note. Aw oh, man, I can't seem to do anything right. Well, when in doubt, blame China. Thanks, China! Disclaimer, this bootleg probably isn't even Chinese. Have a great day!